Uh, Pascal Yang, that's my name, uh, from Ghana. Born in Ghana to a music family. So I've been involved in music since five years old. I uh, started with the traditional music, then I'm going to school, as opposed to Western music, a lot of Western instruments. I uh, went to college, to the universities in Ghana, uh, with brass bands, choirs. And I call myself a multidisciplinary artist. I compose, I perform, and since coming to the U.S., I've been exposed to different uh, music from different cultures, especially Asian cultures. My background has been uh, um, ballet, as far as dancing, ballet, modern, jazz. West African actually came late, although I saw a lot of it while living in Ghana. So, uh, my interest in West Africa came a little bit later when an ambassador from Ghana to the U.N mentioned to me, when are you going to start doing real dance? And so he made Ghanaian dance, so then that sort of turned me around. I started um, looking at Ghanaian dances. But primarily my, my background has been um, ballet, modern, jazz, and I've been very interested in other world uh, art forms. I studied a bit of Chinese, some classical Indian, and so forth. So it's, um, that's what's so interesting that we're married that brought us together because we have all the same interests and we also are able to perform in various different disciplines. Uh, Africa meets Asia. <laughs> That's why we are calling it. Um, while teaching at West Virginia University, we were exposed to all these different uh, cultures. I was the director of world music there. So you have all these instruments from different cultures. And also traveling to China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Korea, Korea, all those places, just impressed and intrigued by the diversity and the similarities, the approach to uh, the concept of music. So 2010, uh, I was lucky to, to collaborate with the Hong Kong Chinese Orchestra, and we created this big piece, Africa Meets Asia, performed in the National uh, Theatre. So when we got the invitation to perform in Toronto for this special dance simulation program, we decided, wait a minute, this time to actually sit down and write something, uh, choreograph something, which blends Africa and Asian uh, dance and musical ideas. Yeah, it was a really exciting process. And it was something that we wanted to do, especially since Dance Immersion is celebrating 20 years um, in su uh, um, supporting um, African dances from the, um, and African dances from the diaspora, uh, from, um, supporting artists and companies. And this is such a, a special moment for us, too, because of being able to go on sabbatical together last fall and being able to travel to Korea. Uh, work with students there, see a lot of things, also do a lot of training over there, learning the, the cultural arts, um, going to China, went to Shanghai, uh, to a major conference where we met people from different parts of the world, and then also was able to do some research looking at the, the, the museums, looking at the art, and how the art influenced the, the, the music and, and the dance. So we did a lot of exploration, um, we also did a lot of soul searching, trying to figure out what our voice would be in this and then how our voice would be, uh, come together um, to create this, this piece, African